Don't you think this is just a beautiful setting with all these beautiful people here? As a father, it started just with instructing and directing and playing and disciplining and praying. And then it shifts. It's more toward guiding and recommending, but still praying. Not so much as a father, but more as friend to friend and brother to brother. God, it was you who brought Catherine and Tucker together by your divine providence. And it is you who they desire to preside not only over this service today, but over their entire lives and marriage. Catherine had on her wall a little quote from Doctor Who, which read in bold script, Do what I do. Hold tight and pretend it's a plan. <laughs> and that's kind of the way she carries on sometimes. Dear Cat, I wanted to take a moment to write you a quick letter reminding you of just some special things. That I love you, and I will always be there for you. I can't wait to party with you, to fill my heart with joy. You've brought order and purpose into my life, and I love that. Tossed in like a castaway, what we wanted. Um, she started out a shy, cute little girl till about age five, and then she discovered parties. So a small party for us was ten people. Our bigger ones were probably about a hundred, and Catherine makes it fun. It's not your standard party. It's, it's something where she's integrating all these different groups from her life together and introducing a whole heap of um, non-Christian friends to Christian friends and, and just getting everyone to feel welcome. had the privilege of knowing Tucker for all of our lives. I was basically brought to the hospital and told, this is your best friend, deal with it. Tucker, it is um, really good to see you here today. And, uh, yeah, Tucker. Uh, you might not know he's had a few tests to pass. We put him through the ax and the chainsaw competency test. Uh, we put him through the a long distance Skype endurance test and we put him through the, um, the Catherine meltdown test. There's been a few of them, yeah. And he has passed with flying colours and he's still here. Well done, Tucker. If you've ever been eating pancakes with him, you know it is not uncommon for him to eat at least eight pancakes in a sitting. So I did a few calculations and that if you take all of the pancakes he's eaten his entire life and stack them, they're almost the height of the Seattle Space Needle. Plus, if you look at the chocolate chips, he's eaten just from pancakes alone, more chocolate chips the entire population of Bellevue, Washington. Cap, this is the man you chose to marry. Won't give up, won't give in Take everything we have This is the second of two weddings, and it's great now to be home on Boccia Turf to do the American side of it. I think it's really important to celebrate both sides of it. For most people, um, two weddings would have been a bit of a challenge, but for Catherine it was no, it was yes, two weddings, yes. That's the way she normally functions. Tucker and Catherine, you've been married for nearly three months, but today is the day where you're standing here reaffirming your vows of commitment before God, your families, and your friends.
Tucker, as you wear your ring that is on your finger, I want you to notice that when you look at it, it has neither end nor beginning. Each time you look down at the ring in the days and months and years to come, you are going to be reminded of the covenant and promises that you made with her. Your promise to love her, to serve her, and to give yourself totally and solely to her. And Catherine, as you wear this ring, it is a symbol of unending love, lifelong commitment. You are going to be reminded of the covenant and promises that you made to love him, to serve him, to give yourself totally and solely to him. Now may you now continue in your sacred marriage covenant and as a declaration of all these things, kiss your best. All right, so without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to pre present to you Mr. and Mrs. Butcher. ups and downs, both of us, and countless hours of being on the phone. There was especially a time uh, in university where I was just going through a very uh, rough time. It was just very hard. And he got me a big bucket chock full of all of these slips of paper that either had a Bible verse or a famous quote of just something for me just to read, to pick me up, to encourage me each day in and out. Kat, this is the man you chose to marry. Yours. Here right now, the kind of night we dream about. Oh, 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 oh. it's beautiful. Yeah, time flies when you get it right. Hold on tight to me Love like you never grew up And live like you just get one tonight We're kings and queens One blink and it's over Wake up and we're older Catherine yeah, is an organiser, she's got the energy of a small tornado and she has met her match in Tucker and he, I, think, I think Tucker wins because he, he's even more out there. We're on the dance floor, Tucker is leading a conga line. In his hand he has a platter of three flaming candles and everybody just got into it. So fortunately nobody was hurt um, and Catherine was outside at the time so he got away with it. marriage wears on you begin to realize that your partner is far from perfect you need to be forgiving and using your gifts to fill the gaps so together you survive the speed humps of life so hold tight to each other and hold tight to your Lord Jesus Love like we never grew up live like you just give